Hey guys, what is up? This is um, basically um, Jose with a basic, I would say a, um, a product a review. This is a, uh, a keypad for Razer. I don't want to pronounce it, but it's just, uh, I don't think you could see it. There it is. That's the product's name. If I probably put it in focus. This is a, a gaming pad. Um, it really works out. It, I love how this fits so well with my hand. I wish this would extend a little farther. For those who don't know, there's a little, you could press a little button and you could reduce. If you have small hands, it would fit for small hands. But since I have a big hand, I need it all the way out. So it fits on any hand and it feels really comfortable for, for, for those who are interested in actually, um, wanting a keypad. I know a lot of people don't like using keypads because they prefer the old school way, basically mechanical keyboards or regular keyboards. Um, as for me, I decided I I have um, a regular where a regular what's it called an Alienware keyboard. Uh, not I, I stood with it for a while. I'm not a huge fan of it, but it it came with the the computer as right here. That's my 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 computer. And this is actually, if I try to focus, this is basically my uh, my Facebook well, profile. But I'm using my actual TV. This is a 55 inch LG. Um, is it three? Is Cinema 3D uh, Smart TV? Um, yeah, I've used. I'm using this as as of right now because for some reason, um, my monitor uh, when I was shipping it to from from LA to Texas, Midland, Texas, it ended UPS ended up breaking my my monitor, which it kind of pissed me off. So I'm stuck, and then they also broke my original TV. So I had to get this new TV in order for me to play um, a Battlefield. I'm like it runs 60 frames per second, which actually less less than that, 59 frames per second for some reason. But I'm I'm still getting more frames than uh, more frame rates on with Battlefield since I switched to the seven uh, sixty. I had the six sixty, but for some reason the six sixty wasn't working out for me because it's been having a lot of loopholes. I mean, it's not a, I wouldn't say loopholes. It's just that I just didn't feel comfortable with it, especially since uh, the the recommendation is um, the six sixty, but it's a two gig uh, DDR five. Um, RAM, so I decided not to get it. I decided it's just the 760 has uh, two gigs, but for some reason, I like how the seven um, and it's from was the EVGA. I'll probably do uh, you know, you, you can see a lot of reviews on, on online, but basically, my review was gonna be basically about this keypad because I got it for a bit, I believe, $70 on Best Buy. They were it was on sale, so I decided to get it. Um, it was either getting a mechanical keyboard or get me one of these. But but the problem the, the thing I like about them is that you could customize the way you with Razer's um, software you could customize the 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 buttons uh, the way you want it. Like for me, for from default, this this is the space button right here. You could space. This was just to move around, going up and down, left or right, but I wouldn't recommend this when it comes to playing Battlefield. Uh, this, I don't know what the default is for this one, but I use this to press record since I use um, Shadow Play. I'm still getting used to Shadow Play since, like, for some reason, uh, DX Sword does use a lot of my CPU, so I don't want to end up running a game where I'm going to have a lot of lag spikes around. Right here, this, these three little lights you could um, change the the modes of what you want it goes up to believe um, this is two three then four then five so just five modes for this um, as much as I like uh, I would would I recommend those people would I recommend this keypad to some people like gamers I, I wouldn't it, it depends on what you want I'm like some people prefer using a regular uh, keyboard but I, uh, for me, I've used keyboard, but for some reason, I don't know, it, it just feels comfortable and I get cramped up using it. But I feel more comfortable using this, running around, and I could throw grenades easier without pressing the G button or programming my mouse since, basically, I only got, I got, this is the, the RAT 3. I use the RAT 3 since it's the brand new one. The one I used to have is the, 
the uh, I believe the Logitech five, uh, G500. Um, it has a lot of stuff, but there was a lot of things I didn't like about it. So I've I talked to some people on um, Best Buy, well, who were gamers. Uh, I wouldn't talk to rec representatives because they had no idea what the hell they're doing. They recommended me the Rat, but at the same time I was on a strict budget, so I decided to get myself a, a, the Rat 3. I was kind of foolish to think that this would end up uh, pulling back since I got a big hand. See, I could grip the whole thing. But the problem was is that you, it is not adjustable, so I was stuck with it. The two program, uh, programmable ones are these two right here. Uh, these are to change this, um, the, was it, the DPIs, it has, um, I, I forgot, was it three, four levels of DPI, this is the modes, just in case if you want to change your, um, if you have, I, I have, my, the only program I have it for is for Battlefield 4, and it will work for Battlefield 3 since, um, I could, all I gotta, all I gotta do is just basically reprogram it. Rad is pretty much, I like the Rad because it feels more lighter than the G500, um, I'm planning to get myself a, a Razer um, mouse, but I wouldn't say right now. So I just got the mouse, so I'm basically experimenting with different types of mouses, which one, which are, which was gonna make me feel comfortable. As of right now, I'm really enjoying these two products, but basically the whole point of this video is not this damn mouse, because you can see that everywhere. It's this little thing right here. Yeah, this is the one I wanted to basically. Um, wanted to show out um i'm loving it i'm not razor's not paying it's not uh basically telling me to do it for them i decided to do it because i love razor products and this is one of the products i loved using since i started i got this before i mean right during the battlefield 4 um uh, game uh, uh, actually after the the release of battlefield 4 so because i decided to to get something different Especially since some things I do play during the, in the night and it's hard for me to see where all the buttons are since that does not light up. So I decided to get this since it's easier for me to detect where the buttons are. This is right here. It's easier to detect. I could record with this button. Um, I really don't use this one. But I, sometimes if I'm just scrolling with using the internet, this also helps out. Um, but yeah, Razer, the, 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 I love Razer. Um, mouses i love the, the the keyboard but as of right now i was on a strict budget so i wanted to get a a, a, a rat sorry if you saw that little junk but i was cleaning my ears i was working all night and pissed me off but that's a different story this is all about the razor so um, i right as of right now i would rate i would rate it uh, from between uh, one and five i would say uh, uh probably four point uh, I think for uh, four point five out of five, some people might not disagree, but it's I'm the one using it. Um, it's up to you whether you want to get it or not. I would recommend it for those who want it. I've seen a lot of people love these type of keypads instead of using a regular keyboard because why? Like majority of the times, you're not gonna go through all the the buttons. You all you need is these. That's all you need. You all you, you could program them the way you want it. Um. The anytime you want is it's you all you got to do is download the software on Razer's um uh, website and basically choose the one that is, that's for you and then after that once you do it once you get everything set up trust me you'll be enjoying this more than the keyboard but that's my that's my opinion that's my preference it's up to you it's up to you guys whether you want it or not so like I said I, it's it's a four point five for me. I'm enjoying it so far. I have no problems with this. And so I if you guys enjoyed this little review of this little keypad from Razer, please leave a like. Um I might end up doing some more stuff later on. I'm not saying it all depends whether I get a new device or not. So um if you guys are new to this, I do post on Battlefield gameplay. Um not sure about Minecraft. It's still I'm still thinking about it. So if you guys um, if you guys are new to it, if you guys are new to my channel, you get welcome to subscribe. So alright guys, take care. I hope you guys enjoyed my video and I'll see you guys in the battlefield.